It looks like a fish you would find in the tropics. But the candy darter can only be found here in our Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, I mean, this is an Appalachian fish. This beautiful fish still enjoys the clear, cool waters in the upper headwaters of the Gauley, Greenbrier, and New Rivers. But their numbers have rapidly fallen. So they're federally listed as endangered, and endangered is the most critical level of that listing, and that's where these animals are. They're being impacted by things like climate change, warming water, um, sedimentation, um, and, and so their, their habitat is receding. Another darter, known as the buried darter, may not be helping either. It's been introduced above Canal Falls. Its native habitat is below the falls. They are probably out competing those, those little bit finer candy darters. No matter the reasons for the decline in candy darters, something needed to be done. And that's why the White Sulphur Springs National Fish Hatchery stepped in. So Nate Owens from West Virginia DNR, uh, he and his crew will go out, they will collect the animals for us. Uh, they'll take the genetic samples and we send those genetic samples. They're set to West Virginia University. We want to propagate pure candy darters and we also want to maintain as much genetic diversity as we can. These fish grow much faster and have a very high success rate here compared to the wild. From the time they spawn, um, it's about 14 days till they hatch and then it takes us about six months to get them to about 70 millimeters, which is, you know, somewhere in here. Um, and that's when we'll tag them and release them. The hatchery first started spawning these fish in 2020 and were able to get some fish out last year. It's too early to know whether it's helping or not, but the DNR will survey and keep a close eye on populations. We're at a point with this animal where we need to get a lot of numbers out quickly to recover this animal. And it also gives us the option to kind of keep them here, you know, even if things get worse out there in the wild. What we're doing is we're holding the line. We're keeping this animal on the face of the planet. With Wild Appalachia, I'm Brandon Stover.